the official announcement for the Sheena Pike Along. So welcome. I'm going to go ahead and have a seat and we will start and let's cover what we're going to be doing. Um, as you can see, I have in front of me a completed Sheena Pike. This is uh, Lamy Corn and I did this for my daughter uh, for her birthday last August and I um, had it framed and just look at her so cute. The sparkle on this. I added some extra ABs. I don't know if y'all can see in the camera, but the sparkle is really, really cool. So she keeps this in her bathroom. Kind of has a rainbow theme in there. So uh, after I did this, I absolutely just fell in love with Sheena. Um, the only thing that was difficult about this one is this is not a partial. So the entire back was white, 5200. Now this is before I multi-placed. So <laughs> I single placed every single one of these. So yeah. yeah so it, uh, it was a labor of love. It took probably a lot longer than it should have, but it was a fun project to do um, as a surprise for her. She had no idea I was working on it. Okay, so the Sheena Pike along. Let's get into a little bit of the history. I'll leave this here while we talk um, of how it came about. So uh, Craftably had their pre-order announcement and uh, I ordered one of the Sheena Pikes from Craftably, one of the Chloe sisters. They're adorable um, if you're not familiar with what they are. Um, it's the one that has like Munchkin Z and they have the little names. They're so cute. I ordered um, Puppy Crazed Petunia and it's this cute girl. She's got glasses and purple and like turquoise hair and she's got some dogs on her and she's got a, a coffee mug that says Dog Mom. And I just, I, I've got two Boston Terriers and I love my puppies. And so I just thought that's the one. So I ordered that one and uh, uh, Mindy with Mindy's Diamond Moment, uh, we uh, were talking somehow, some way through, um, I think it was through Instagram, posting what we had purchased and we had purchased the same one. And there were some people that were asking if there was going to be a Sheena Pike event and Mindy had said no, um, but she said, I've got June open and June is her birthday month, which is really cool too. Um, so Mindy is hosting this event and I am co-hosting. This is my first event to do. So it means uh, more to me than anything because it's my first one. And I'm so excited to be doing it with her. And Mindy is amazing. Um, if you don't know who she is, you probably do. But if you don't, um, I will link her in the description and make sure that you uh, go over and subscribe to her channel because that will be a big part of the event of what we're gonna be doing together. So um, after you know her and I had you know talked about having the same painting and doing an event together, we both said, sure, let's do it. So that's how it kind of came about. Uh, with that being said, um, you know, as we know, the Craftively paintings, uh, we were hoping they were gonna be here uh, beginning of June, but it looks like they're gonna be here mid-June. So even if you've ordered a Craftably or are still gonna get one, um, they should be here mid-June so you can still, you know, participate. Um, it does not need to be a new finish, a new start, and you don't need to finish. So, you know, please join us. Um, the only thing that we ask um, for the, uh, for the painting is that it needs to be a Sheena Pike, obviously. Um, and then, um, you know, we'd like for someone not to be almost complete with the painting, you know, that wouldn't be very much fun. So maybe, I mean, we're not, there's not a whole lot of rules y'all, but you know, maybe at least 50%, let's say, or less. I mean, just make sure it's not almost complete. Um, uh, that way you've got, you know, the month to work on it. So, um, all right. So this is, like I said, the completed one I have. And once I found out the Craftably wasn't going to, one wasn't going to be here, I was like, hmm, I might need to just snag another one that would go along great with it. And look what I got. I got the Frenchie corn. Now, like I said, I do have two Boston Terriers, but they look so much like a French Bulldog. And again, I just thought these would look so cute framed next to each other in my daughter's bathroom. So um, I'm really excited that this was in stock and I was able to grab this. So this is gonna be the painting that I'm gonna be working on um, for the start of the event. It is a partial. So my hope is that, um, kind of take my time working on it. I just came off of a really big painting. And so I'm really looking forward to doing some, a partial and something a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna take my time and hopefully um, this'll take me into maybe when the Craftably one gets here and then I'll work on my Craftably one. So that's, that's the plan. But at least I've got my Frenchie corn to get me started. So. Um, let me, I have already kitted him up. I kitted him up this morning. I didn't, 
I was going to do it with y'all, but I love kidding up and I kind of get into my own little world and I didn't, wasn't sure if I was going to be able to talk and kid up at the same time. So I did, um, kid it up and I will start next Tuesday, June 1st. There are 48 colors, which I was really surprised that there's 48 colors in this cute little guy, um, being he is a partial, but, um, there's two ABs. There's 126 and 127, and I was looking through the ABs that I have, and I'm gonna do 3605, another AB. So I'm gonna add that where it's supposed to be 3607. So they're very close in color. I'm gonna add that, and then I found some orange ABs. Um, I couldn't find the number. I know they're not 947, so I think it's in the wrong bag, but they're these uh, bright orange ABs. So I'm gonna try to find a place for those. I've kind of just got those over here on the side. But yeah, I'm kitted up and ready to go. I'm gonna have some fun with some trays and some pens that I have. I've got my fun yellow tray from Bella Art Day Nicole. And then one of my yellow pens from Diamond Pen Pal with the roll stop. So I'm, I'm getting all my colors ready and just, I'm, I'm ready to go. Um, so let's talk about some details. Oh, real quick, in case you're not familiar with the painting, this is what he's gonna look like when he's complete. Yeah, he's a 51 by 51. And like I said, he is round. Yeah, and he's by Sheena. Okay, so now that we've covered the painting I'm gonna be working on, let's go ahead and cover some of the details of the event. So if you wanna get your planners out, if you're a planner person or get a piece of paper out, um, I'll kind of go through the calendar. Um, so first off, um, please subscribe to both Mindy and I. So I'll make sure that I have you know her, her channel linked in the description. Um, like I said, it must be a Sheena Pike. Um, we will have weekly giveaways during our whipping chats. So be sure and listen to those whipping chats and you know, comment how you're supposed to, however the rules are. Um, mine are gonna be pretty straightforward. Um, I'm not sure how Mindy's gonna do hers. I'm sure it'll be the same. But um, I'm, if y'all just comment, then you'll be you know, entered. Um, so the, the kickoff for the event is Tuesday, June 1st, so next Tuesday. Um, Wednesday is when Mindy does her whipping chats and I do mine on Thursdays. So for the first ones, for the second and the third, um, listen to both of those whipping chats. Now during my whipping chat, I will ask for the comment because I will be doing the next, the first giveaway. So let's see, Mindy will do hers on the 9th, her whipping chat, and the 10th, June 10th, I'll do the giveaway number one. I'll go ahead and announce who that winner is so you'll will have a week to comment. And then the following week, uh, Mindy will do her whipping chat on the 16th. She'll do giveaway number two on the 16th from the week before. And then I'll do my whip and chat on the 17th. Uh, the 23rd will be Minnie's whip and chat. And the 24th will be the giveaway number three. So I'll do the third giveaway on the 24th from the week before. And then uh, Mindy will do the last giveaway. Giveaway number four will be Mindy's whip and chat on the 30th from the 23rd from the week before. So four giveaways. Um, two really exciting lives that we've got scheduled and that is let's see the first one will be the 26th of June now Mindy will be at the retreat and so will Michael and Amy from craftably so since they're both good, you know, going to be at the retreat um, Mindy was able to talk to Sheena Pike herself and they're gonna be doing a live together which is unbelievable so so exciting I'm so excited um, um, I was invited to join them. I hope with internet and everything at the retreat that it works out that I can be there. Um, but if not, it's fine. You know, I hope y'all can join and I hope it works out for everybody. Uh, Mindy's live. She goes live every Saturday night. So she goes live on set at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's 6 p.m. for Central for me because I'm in Texas. So again, that's on the 26th. And then on the, on July 3rd, Mindy, then the following Saturday, we will be doing the grand prize giveaway on Mindy's Live. Mindy and I will be there, again, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And the grand prize will be a $75 Craftably gift card. So you guys do not want to miss that. That's going to be amazing. And Craftably is going to have all their pre-orders in by then. So you'll be able to buy a bunch of cool stuff. It'll be great. Um, we do have a hashtag. It's, she, it's hashtag Sheena Pike Along. So if y'all get on there and please post your progress, we'd love to see all the pictures. I want to see what everybody's working on. Um, and it's going to be just so, so exciting. Um, 
one last thing before I uh, close the video. I am a Diamond Art Club, um, an affiliate. So I'll post that link down there. So if this is your first time and you wanna go ahead and get a painting still, uh, it's for first time customers only. Um, you will get 15% off by using the code SHAY15. And I do get a small commission if y'all do that. So um, that's it. If y'all have any comments or questions or anything, please leave them down the in the description. I hope I covered everything. Um, I hope it wasn't too fast. I have a tendency to talk a little fast sometimes. So again, if you have any questions, um, I look forward to seeing you guys in the event, um, you know, in the whipping chats, please comment. And this will be a really good time. So um, I'll see y'all in the next video. Okay. I love you. Take care.